Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is how to wear high heels if you have flat feet. So before I go ahead and get started on this video, just let me say that I have the flattest feet on the face of the earth. You guys, here is a picture of my actual feet. When I put my soles together, my feet look like two pancakes sitting on top of each other. I have extremely rigid flat feet. This is not someone making a video giving advice that doesn't actually know what it's like to go through life with flat feet and the struggle with finding shoes, comfortable shoes, and trying to be fashionable. So let me tell you, I am flat foot gang and I understand your pain. Also, one more important thing I want to say before we get started is when it comes to your feet and wearing shoes, put comfort first. As a woman, I get it. You want to you wanna look fashionable. You want to do what's in. And what's most comfortable for your feet may not be this most stylish thing, but you're you're spending your money on your shoes you only have one pair of feet that you need to take care of and it's your comfort that's at stake so I just want to encourage you guys that have flat feet when you go shopping don't be insecure about what you buy if you go shopping with friends and they're trying to push you in one direction to get something else because it look more stylish take a stand and get what's gonna work for you and your feet everybody doesn't know our struggle every shoe is not gonna fit everything is not comfortable so I just wanted to say that because I know that that's some things that I struggle with so I wanted to just pass that on. So now let's jump into why we're here and that's how to wear high heels. So first I'm going to start off with the wedge. Wedges are always more comfortable because you're able to distribute weight that you're putting on your feet. I feel like wedges come and go as far as trends like they're not always in but you can always find some. For me wedges help a ton especially if I know that I'm getting a shoe that I plan to be in all day for example this one. So guys here's an example of a cute little sneaker wedge that I found at Nordstrom's Rack and actually you can see the wedge is very slight, it's very thin. Um, I know that some people thought that the sneaker wedge trend was just gonna come and go, but it seems to have stayed. And I'm glad that it did stay because it helps flat-footed people like myself get that kind of casual look and be able to be on our feet all day because as you know if you have flat feet is that flatter shoes are actually not the most comfortable obviously when you're going for certain looks like you know flip-flops sandals or you want work flats you know what you're signing up for but the flat shoes are not the go-to if you truly have rigid flat feet like myself so I love sneaker wedges um, and this light wedge makes it almost makes the heel almost non-existent it doesn't serve as a heel for me it serves more as cushion and it's a covered heel so I actually have these in two different colors, gray and black, and I love them. Um, they don't look like they've been worn a lot, but I have worn them a lot. I'll leave the brand below. I, I do remember that it was a good deal, um, and it's a nice sturdy shoe, so it doesn't look worn, but when I tell you I've literally walked the Vegas Strip up and down in these for an entire weekend, that's the truth. So again, wedges are always a good choice, either high or low. The build of them helps distribute the weight. Next up is a block heel. Obviously, the thicker the heel is, the more comfortable the shoe is because it's able to take some of the pressure off of the remainder of the feet. So block heels are always a good choice. I know that they're not the sexiest thing. I know that like pointy toe pumps are the ultimate sex symbol when it comes to shoes, but block heels are always a go-to for me. Again, do what's comfortable for you. Don't let your friends or a man pressure you into wearing shoes that are ultimately going to hurt you and hurt your feet. I know some men kind of hate block heels, so I felt the need to say that. Next up is platform. So another trend that seems to come and go is platforms. Sometimes you look up in the shoe department, it looks like the 70s. And then after that trend's gone, things get back to normal and nobody's wearing platforms. But for example, this shoe, this is like my go-to, uh, one of my go-to work shoes, but it has a very slight platform. I wouldn't even say that this is an inch thick. It's less than an inch. It's a very slight platform, but it is such a relief when it comes to taking the pressure off of your foot. So like Block Hills, platforms help tremendously with taking some of the pain and pressure off of your foot. So I highly recommend a slight platform when you're opting to wear pumps, it just really helps with the comfort of the shoe. Platforms are another thing that people might try to tell you aren't in style or doesn't look the best, but do what's best for you. And then lastly, moving on to your traditional pump, right? The go-to sexy shoe of the night. My number one tip when it comes to wearing pumps, you guys are not gonna believe me when I say this, but is actually go higher in terms of heel height. So here I have a pump 
and this heel is four and a half inches. While this may look like it may be uncomfortable, this is one of the most comfortable shoes I own. It's the Cassidy by Aldo, and I actually just purchased this pair, so this one has not been worn, but every year, the Cassidy and the Stessie, I just kind of re up and with whatever color or texture is out for the year. So this is a new one, but the reason why I say go higher is because you take the pressure off of the middle of your foot and it shifts it down to your toe. So, of course, no high heel is gonna feel like you're walking around in gym shoes, but when the heel is higher, it shifts that way down to your toe, which if, which again, if you're truly a rigid flat foot person like myself, you will opt for toe pain over, you know, that middle of the foot, the sole of the foot pain any day, because that pain is just unbearable. Shoes are made for regular people with arches who have that indentation. Guys, what I'm trying to explain here is that when you have rigid flat feet, you don't have that indentation, so your foot does not conform along with the shoe. Rather, it's tangent to the shoe, like it's a straight line going, going up against the curve, and so that it just sits there and it's extremely painful that pain like that bend right here is just unbearable and you would rather take it here on the ball of your foot and on your toes so go higher on your high heels when you're wearing pumps the most painful pumps for me are the one, two to four inch range. I almost always opt for a, a minimum four inches and up. The sweet spot for me is four and a half inches. So as you can see, this one doesn't have a platform, but I find that Aldo makes really comfortable shoes for me and I, and I have flat feet, but I've been, I've been loyal to Aldo for years. So again, this is a truly traditional classic pump, but the high heel is what makes it comfortable. And just so you guys know, I'm not lying. Here is one of my more worn Aldo um, I think it's either the Cassie or the Stessie pump. This is the denim. I love this shoe, although I need to not ever wear it again because it is just so washed. I mean, I have worn this album and I tell you guys I have danced all night in the club with this shoe. And this is actually a go-to shoe for me. Like the heel is worn. My black pair, this is my go-to courtroom shoe. I walk through prisons with this shoe on cement floors. I'm telling you the high heel sweet spot, shifting that weight down to the toe box makes this shoe more bearable. So I know this shoe looks horrible, but I just wanted to show you guys so that you know the higher heel hat is really what I live by. Also when you're reaching for a pump, the more snug this is, the more it helps because if you you have rigid flat feet as you know they tend to pronate or lean in as you walk your body shifts that weight in towards your body and so the more support that you have in the shoe the better you will walk in them you won't have that pain on the on the leaning inside or kind of wobble when you walk so, so i highly recommend clo a closed in shoe as much as possible um with a snug fit I, I know that when people are giving high heel advice or high heel hats they actually say size up so you have more room and more room in the toe box but for us rigid flat feet people i'm going to say get a snug fit it's going to help with that support Support along the length of the shoe. So Flatfoot Gang, that is all I have for this video. So if you guys want more videos on my go-to shoes for flat feet or the brands and types of shoes that I lean more towards because they're more comfortable, let me know in the comments down below. I am always here to help. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.